Hi, in this presentation, I will introduce you to the key benefits the one developer IMF Human to Spam Solution delivers. To begin with, let us have a look at what IMF Tune is. IMF Tune builds on top of the anti spam functionality, included out of the box in Exchange 2003, 2007, and 2010. It runs on any of the Windows 2003, 2008, and 2008 R2 server platforms, and is available in 32-bit and 64-bit. Exchange 2003 includes the Intelligent Message Filter in Service Pack 2. Exchange 2007 and 2010 carried forward this filtering technology, and is now referred to as the Content Filter Agent. Here, I will be referring to both as IMF. IMF Tune runs on the same Exchange Server machine running IMF. The Exchange Filter assigns each email an initial SCL rating. Next, IMF Tune processes the email and may choose to keep or replace the initial SCL. Based on the final rating, IMF Tune decides how the email is to be handled. We now move ahead and start exploring what IMF Tune brings to the table. Just like IMF, IMF Tune speaks in SCLs, a 0 to 9 email rating system. The higher the SCL rating, the more likely the email is spam. IMF Tune allows the setup of different actions per SCL. It also provides a quarantine system, reporting, CSV logging, auto replies, various whitelists and blacklists, three different types of rules, and more. Let's take a closer look at these features. IMF Tune allows complete flexibility when it comes to SCL threshold configuration. If we want, we can configure each possible SCL rating independently. Here is how SCL thresholds are configured. We create a new entry under email handling. Next, we specify the SCL range. And an action type from accept, reroute, delete and reject. Accept will allow emails to go through to the recipient mailbox. Reroute will redirect emails to a central mailbox. Delete will silently trash the email. Reject will terminate email reception with an SMTP rejection response. Note how there is no move to junk action. IMF Tune here completely reuses the built-in exchange move to junk functionality. When moving emails to junk, we choose the accept action to allow the email through. Then, depending on the junk folder threshold configured at exchange, the email would be either deposited to the inbox or to the junk folder. I suggest checking the IMF Tune FAQs for more details on this. Another thing to notice, depending on the action I choose, a set of additional options is exposed. For example, here I am configuring the tagging of email subjects with the SCL rating. Let's have a look now at the archiving and quarantine functionality. These are two distinct features that are tightly coupled together. Archiving allows us to save a copy of processed emails on disk. On the other hand, the quarantine publishes emails through an IIS web application. From the browser, we are then able to review and resubmit blocked emails. The two features are tied together since only archived emails may be published at the quarantine. At the configuration archiving and quarantine category, we click add to create a new archiving profile. Specify a profile name. Configure the path where emails are to be archived on disk. Optionally publish the email at the quarantine by selecting also add archived email to quarantine database. Set the SCL ratings to which this profile applies and save changes. Let's log on to the browser and have a quick look at the quarantine interface. This interface delivers a lot of functionality we do not cover here. Apart for email moderation, it also includes various reports computed in real time. I suggest you check our video tutorials section, where you will find a tutorial focusing exclusively on this interface. IMF Tune CSV logging is one of the first features you will want to enable. The concept is quite simple. 
we just record the key information of process DMAs in a comma-separated value file. The CSV format is perfect for importing logs to Microsoft Excel or Access. Here is a sample log file in Excel. The log includes processing time, SCL, subject, applied action, archive file path, IP, sender and recipient addresses. This is an excellent way to keep track of emails. And here is the configuration login category. We click Add to create a new logging profile. Specify a profile name. Configure the log file path. Set the SCL ratings to which this profile applies and save changes. IMF Tune provides a broad selection of white lists and black lists. We find lists for IPs, sender and recipient addresses, attachments, subjects and body keywords. Under blacklists we also have a list for blocking foreign spam by character set. I will just skim through these lists to show you some of the functionality provided. As you can expect, the IP lists allow the entry of single IPs and entire IP blocks. The sender and recipient lists allow for entering single addresses and entire domains. The attachment list allows us to identify files using their full name or the file extension. The keyword lists allow the use of the AND, OR, NOT operators and double quotes to more effectively identify emails. The foreign spam blacklist simply requires selecting the language categories and IMFTune blocks their associated character sets. IMFTune rules bring an additional level of flexibility, allowing us to test all kinds of email characteristics. Rules can be employed to fix the email rating to a new value. Alternatively, we could influence the current rating by applying an increment or decrement. In this manner, we can identify email properties that should contribute to raise or lower SCL ratings. IMFTune provides three types of rules, simple, advanced and external. Let's look at the simple SCL rules category. Simple rules are basically composed of a condition action pair. We start by choosing the email information to be matched under header SMTP command. If we wanted to match a custom header, we would type the header name directly. Match type determines how the header value is to be tested. Under operation, we choose between setting the SCL to some new value or to raise or lower the current SCL. We also select the SCL change to apply. At the bottom, we specify the information to be matched against the selected header. Now let's immediately turn to external rules. As you can see, the configuration is nearly identical to those for simple rules. However, here the values to be matched are fetched periodically from an external file. Thus, we have to identify the path of the external file and configure the schedule for reading this file. These rules are great for hosting external whitelists and blacklists. If we put the file on a shared network drive, we could have multiple IMF tune installations, reading the same list. We could also use these rules to integrate external sources of information. For example, we could have a script dumping Active Directory addresses to a file. An external rule would then inject these into IMF Tune. Advanced rules combine together a number of conditions and exceptions that have to be satisfied for an action to be applied. Each condition and exception tests one piece of information extracted from the email. Advanced rules are configurable through the rules wizard. Here, I will quickly configure a rule for blocking empty bodied attachment spam. Apart from providing the most selective email identification, advanced rules also allow the testing of email properties that are only available through this interface. 
For more details, I suggest you to check our video tutorial section that includes a tutorial focusing exclusively on advanced rules. HTML keyword reporting is one of my favorite features. Many anti-spam products act like a black box, leaving you wondering what is going on behind the scene. IMF Tune allows us to see exactly what is going on. It shows side by side the IMF Tune configuration settings and how these match the particular email. Here is an example report. At the top, we see the usual header that helps us identify an email. Following that, we have the list of matches the email triggered. In this case, this email matched both a blacklisted sender address and an advanced rule composed of three conditions. For each match, we can see how IMF Tune is configured and the actual information extracted from the email. Configuring keyword reporting is just a matter of enabling the functionality and specifying the path to the report file. We now turn to disk maintenance, the last feature we will be demonstrating today. In simple terms, this is a process that manages disk space consumption. It provides two sets of settings, one for archived and quarantined emails and another for logging. The process takes care to automatically compress, backup and subsequently delete archived emails and logs reaching the configured age limit. In this manner, for example, we can choose to retain quarantine email for 60 days. The system will then take care to purge older quarantines keeping this consumption under check. Let's have a look at the archiving and quarantine maintenance configuration. Here, compress and backup files after determines the number of days emails must age before being transferred to backup. Delete backup files after determines the number of days a backup must stage before deletion. This completes our IMF Tune feature roundup. Today, we saw how IMF Tune turns the basic exchange anti spam into a fully featured commercial grade solution. We encourage you to download our 30 day evaluation and see for yourself how IMF Tune takes your anti spam defenses to the next level. Also, check the links shown here for more IMF Tune video tutorials. Until then, Thanks for watching.